Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to Mario Party DS last time we completed the rest of the story mode by taking on the fifth board of this game Bowser's pinball machine so today we are going to be taking a look at the extra content in this game because after you beat the main story mode of this game there's really not much left for you to play I mean besides multiplayer party mode which is also another version of the multiplayer mode actually I don't really know let's see Party with the Mario crew on five boards, throw big parties for four, a quick party for two, or a tag team party. Or we could do multiplayer where you can bring your friends who don't have the game and they can play the game locally with you, which is also a pretty fun thing to do. Something that I did a lot back when I was a kid. Uh, and then we have the mini game mode. Play mini games in a fun challenge and crazy competitions as well as puzzle mode. So today guys, I'm going to be playing the mini game mode and then I'm going to be doing the puzzle mode. And then we may in fact get one more video showing off the party mode and or multiplayer since they're pretty much the same thing. So today we're going to be doing the mini game mode. So before we begin, do me a favor and drop a like on this video. I don't know if playing this mode will actually help me unlock all the other mini games, but... We're just going to go ahead and set it up by doing free play. Uh, play the mini games that you've unlocked. This is be the first to reach the top of the steps. Mini game. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. And then the battle cup. This is actually pretty nice. Boss bash. Take on the boss mini games to get the best time you can. Hey, that actually sounds pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and do that, man. Let me go ahead and do that. The boss bash. And then uh, since we played as Mario throughout the entire story mode, I guess it'll only make sense to play as someone else. We're going to go ahead and use Yoshi. Yoshi's definitely the person that we want. And uh, view the rules and control descriptions before each boss battle. I mean, yeah, you can go ahead and show it off. Why not? That way, uh, that way we know exactly who we're battling against. But here we go. Boss bash. This is crazy. It's like an actual arena. It's like a WWE tournament. Welcome to Boss Bash. You're going to battle five bosses. How quickly can you beat them? Bash them fast to win. It's time to meet the beastly bosses. Round one, Piranha Plant, Feed and Seed. Round two, Hammer Bros. Round three, Dry Bones. Round four, Kamek. And final round, Bowser with the Bowser Block Party. I guess those are the names of each and every single one of the boss battles. And we have five minutes to do each and every single one of these. So a total of 25 minutes to knock this out. And that is the record. If we can beat it in under 25 minutes, then we beat the record. Now let's get into the boss bash. Ready and go. This is going to be easy, guys. I mean, the only thing that I'm kind of worried about would definitely be the last boss. But besides that, I think I got this one in the bag. Catch the bomb seeds that the piranha plants spit out, then drop them back in the boss's open mouth. That sounds pretty easy. I actually had to figure this one out all by myself, and it kind of sucked. But when I eventually figured it out, it was a very easy mini game. So, clicking A, uh, Yoshi will actually end up levitating pretty high. And then, he's going to go ahead and start spitting out these piranha plants. You want to make sure that you, you grab one like that. And then, as soon as he opens his mouth, you're going to go ahead and... Send it in his mouth. Woo! -hoo. He, he doesn't like that. Now you have to do that two more times. So yeah, he's he's a pretty easy boss, but again, he's pretty slow because you gotta wait for the piranha plant to do its thing. I'm pretty sure that's how it is with all the other bosses, except for Kamek, sort of. Like Kamek, you could do it pretty quickly if you really, really wanted to. Um, open your mouth. Say ah, you're at the dentist. There we go. Can we actually do this in under a minute and a half? That would be pretty exciting if we could. If we can actually beat this in a minute and like 30 seconds or under that. Oh man, I got hit by a bomb on the way down. Well, that kind of sucks. I guess we're not going to be beating it in under a minute and a half. But at least we're showing off all the boss battles. That's all that matters, I guess. All right, here he comes one more time doing it again. But this time I'm going to be extra safe and careful. There we go. Perfect. Wow, he absorbed way too many. Like, seriously, dude. Alright, I'm gonna... Oh, dang it. See, that's the problem, man. Whenever he spits out a second... Or whenever he starts spitting out all those seeds, it's probably best not to grab them just because you'll end up getting hit by them. So you want to go for one that doesn't seem like you'll end up getting hit by. Which is that one to me. And we are about to toss it in his mouth. Oh, man. Dude, that was crazy. A minute and 40 seconds, so 10 seconds worse than uh, what I wanted it to be at first. But that's still pretty good, considering that they did give us 5 minutes to beat this entire thing. So, 
The second one is Hammer Chime. Memorize the tune that the Hammer Bros plays, then repeat it before the music notes strike you. Sounds pretty good. This is one that you have to focus on. So let's go ahead and be quiet and listen to the music. Yellow, green, blue. Yellow, green, blue. Sucker. Alright, let's see what else you got. What is the next tune gonna be? Green, yellow, blue, red. Green, yellow, blue, red. Nice, dude. Alright, one more. Here we go. Green, yellow, blue, yellow, red. Green, yellow, blue, blue, yellow, red. And we did it! 25 seconds sharp, man. That is pretty crazy. They give you 5 minutes to beat this guy, and we did it in 25 seconds. So that's definitely good, because that means we have all, like, the more time for the next few bosses. Now, this is search for the fire icons that appear above the magic switches, then ground pound them all to release a fiery blast at dry bones. And this one was pretty easy. This is actually kind of similar to the last boss battle, just because, you know, you're in a, a 3D kind of setting. Um, anyways, essentially all you need to do is look at the top screen, or rather the bottom screen for you guys, and you will find these fireballs on these switches that you actually need to hit first and I think you have to do it in the order that they appear in so that one being first and then this one over here being the second one and then at the same time you do need to watch out for dry bones because he does throw projectiles like bones and cherries and other stuff um, now there are these ones okay so it's gonna be this one and then this one back here and then the one all the way across from it there we go and then that should... Oh, wow, it moved. Okay, I guess it's going to be this one. There we go. Then that should do it and defeat him within 50 seconds. Not bad at all. So still under a minute. So technically, out of the three that we've done, the only one that really took some time was the first one. And even then, that wasn't that long. It was a minute and 40 seconds. There we go, Yoshi. You did it, my boy. Man, I don't even know how we're going to be doing the, the last boss, how long it's going to take me, but I'm going to try to do it on the first try. Survive a flight down Kamek's library hallway, then take the, on the henchmen. Shoot ink, blocks, uh, ink, ink blobs at Kamek's face until he's totally inky. So that sounds pretty straightforward. Um, this is actually one of the more so easier minigames. If I had to pick, this would probably be one of my favorite boss battles just because it has the most action going on for it. Like, you have to not only shoot books down, but you also have to watch out from being hit by projectiles, which is pretty nice. So, I mean, it does make you be extra careful, you know, you can't be careless when playing this minigame, just like the other ones. Uh, plus, I mean, whoa, that's, cr that's crazy. Plus, I mean, at the end of it, it is pretty fun, so I'm not gonna lie, I thoroughly enjoy playing it. I do not know where I'm going. I am kind of screwing this up. Well, I mean, not really, because I'm... Whoa! Man, they do that on purpose, because he tried to throw you off. But we made it to the librarian herself, or himself. Kamek. The librarian. Look at this guy, dude. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This is the part where we got to start shooting his face. Take my ink blobs. Feel them. Look at that, dude. It's caking all over his face. And then he starts wiping it. And then when he wipes it... Actually, that's when it starts coming off, but... As long as we can make sure he doesn't take it off, that'd be great. I'm going to just keep firing by holding down A. There we go. I think if I just hold down A, it's probably easier. Dude, how are you still not done with the first hit, dude? Like, seriously. We've caked so much on your face, dude. There we go. Now he starts raging, dude. This dude has temper tantrums. Look at him. Oh, uh, and here comes the book. That's the problem, too. The book sometimes, you know, hits you in the face. So you have to be careful about that. Um, come on, you get on this dude's face. It's, it's having a hard time today, like for real. Like it's not actually working as, uh, as smoothly as it did the first time around that we did this. There we go. Now it's starting to cake on his face. There we go, come on, there we go. Oh, see he wiped it off right away because there wasn't much on it. But that's why you gotta start, I don't know how to do it honestly, like how to, how to do this properly. Okay, there we go. Now we got a good jump start on that. That's all I needed, just that. Because if it's less than that, like if it's a little lighter, he easily wipes it off for some reason. Like it's not really too much of a problem for him to wipe it off. But when it's like that, yeah, it's going to take him a little bit of time. Dude, he probably can't even see. No wonder his aiming is off. Alright, there we go. Come on. Just finish it off. 
Finish off the second hit, dude. There we go. Second hit is now complete. Now we have one more hit to take care of before we beat this boss. Can we do it in the timed, uh, I guess, can we do it without losing any one-ups? I think we can. All right, Kamek, we got this big dog. Look at this guy, man. Look at this guy, man. We are destroying his life. He is not having a good time today. Uh, no, we can't, we can't. Oh, dude, we gotta, we gotta watch out for this. There we go. Hey, we did it! He's raging. This one definitely took over, or almost five minutes. Wow, three minutes just to take on that boss. I wonder what happens if you die, if that all still counts as the time. Because if that's the case, then, dude, there's no way I'm gonna be able to beat this boss, like, for real. Bowser's block party. Avoid Bowser's attacks after he transforms into blockhead Bowser. Then wait for your chance to strike his golden weak spot. Okay, so this mini game honestly did give me a little bit of trouble the first time I did it. And that's because when I came to the last hit, I never really knew how to actually defeat Bowser or how to go about attacking him without losing any health. Um, but I think I figured it out last time I played it. It's just focus on attacking him from up front rather than from the side. Um... And the cool thing is, too, you can actually switch the camera angle by clicking L or R or X, which actually completely changes the camera view. Puts it on top rather than from the side or from the back of the, the character that you're playing it as. So you're not getting like a 3D view of him. You're getting like a top view, which is pretty cool. Um, and then I think, yeah, this is when he slows down. Okay, so he's about ready. There we go. Perfect. So we hit him like that. Pretty nice. Here he comes, spawning. As soon as he falls, I want to make sure that I'm out of the... Uh, oh, I still got hit regardless. I still got hit regardless, man. Still lost that one up. Okay, so this is the part where you click X. You want to change the view up on here. Alright, as soon as this thing stops, this is where I'm going to start going in on it. Aw, oh, dang it. Okay, I got one hit. That's pretty good. Alright, I'm going to just wait for this thing to stop again. But this time in front of me... See, it always moves away. Dang it. All right, I got to make sure that I'm st I'm away from this. All right, let's see what else we got. What else we got? What else we got? There we go. We defeated it in a minute and 12 seconds. Wow. I wasn't expecting to do on my first try, honestly. And that goes to show, like, how much I really think of my gameplay. It's not that good, man. I don't think highly of it. It's definitely something that I that worries me when I when I at least when I did this boss, I was worried because like last time I did it, it did take me 20 minutes, and I was just like, why does it take me 20 minutes to beat one boss? But what does that mean? So a minute 40, 25, 53 minutes. Best time is seven minutes and 11 seconds for the record. That's not bad at all. Surprisingly, the second to last boss took us the longest, and that's because when you really think about it, it actually is the longest in terms of like transitions and what you need to do. So, wow, that was pretty good. Uh, we got a total of 150 Mario Party points for that. So, uh, what did we win? We won a Goomba figure, and then we won a Winner's Balloon, as well as Toadette's Piano, and a Delicious Durian, and an Enchanted Bookcase, and an Electronic Magnetic Generator. We want a lot of things, guys. A lot of things that I don't know what to do with. Uh, play again with the same settings. No, let's not go ahead and do that. Um, let's actually go back here for a second. I want to see what the, what the gallery is really quick. Just to see. That's a game mode? No way. Oh, yeah. So you view collections. I guess these are all the collectible items that we got. Like character figures. If you look here, we only have Mario for some reason. And then the Goomba that we just unlocked. And then all these guys that still have yet to be unlocked. So many, apparently. Um, personally, I don't really know where to begin to start finding these character figures or how to unlock them. But I'm assuming I'm going to need to play this game religiously in order to do that. So, we still have a lot to do in order to have this game beat in 100%. And I'm not really sure where to even start. So... I think I'm actually going to end off this video here. I wasn't expecting to be doing just the boss battles. I thought it was going to be something about a mini game, but apparently this is this is better, you know, cuz I was I, I wanted to do these anyways, and I didn't really know how to even begin doing it. I thought I was going to have to replay all the boards again just to lead up to the bosses to redo them, but this definitely worked out. So, I think next time what I'm going to do is I'm going to do step it up, be the first to reach the top of the steps, mini game victories get you there. 
uh, or then Battle Cup. We're gonna just do all of these in like their own individual episodes, so then that way we could show off the mini game mode. And then I guess we'll focus on the puzzle mode. So that is pretty much it, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace out.